Asthma has increased in prevalence over recent years and now affects 10 to 20% of children. It is a chronic disease characterized by reversible airflow obstruction, particularly in the bronchi with recurrent bout bouts of wheezing and breathlessness. Asthma is recognized by clinical assessment. Severe asthma without life-threatening features should be treated with high-flow oxygen, nebulized salbutamol, ipratropium bromide, and oral corticosteroids. If life-threatening features are present, senior help and an experienced anesthetist should be summoned. In the meantime, the airway should be maintained. Oxygen should be administered by a rebreathing mask and IV access secured for administration of corticosteroid and bronchodilators. A chest radiograph should be obtained after initial stabilization in any child with features of severe or life-threatening asthma with a, with a first episodes of wheeze. Patients who are tired, those with a reduced conscious level, and those who continue to deteriorate despite maximal therapy are indicated for ventilatory support. The patient should be pre-oxygenated and 10 to 20 ml per kg collide given electively. Patients with acute severe asthma are often volume depleted and vasodilated. Ketamine is a useful induction agent. Key in the management are generous humidification and physiotherapy to mobilize secretion and mucus plugs. Drug treatment may include continued neuromuscular blocking agents, ketamine by continuous infusion for both sedative and bronchodilator effect, IV bronchodilators, corticosteroids and antibiotics. Watch detailed lecture on scaria.com pediatric scores. That's 2 minutes. See you in the next video.